Hello, folks. Welcome again to another episode. Yet another episode. Oh, that's right. This is file 001. I actually like deleted stuff. Yep, as you can tell by the scruff, I'm the one, the only. I am Hobo Tom. I'm here to talk about some Monday Night Raw, specifically the go home show for the two days of WrestleMania. Wait, what's this? The microphone. Let's see here. I wonder what this does. Oh, wow. I didn't even know this was here. Microphone. Can I change the volume on this? Oh, I guess not. That's okay. I can always change the volume over here. There we go. And this will be interesting because I have to see if my suspension's up. In a few days, I think. So I might be doing both live. I might be doing one. Oh, there we go. Sorry, myself. I might be doing one recap. Might be doing one live. I don't know. We'll see. I have no idea what's going to happen. But you folks can determine what I have for dinner. I mean, either going to have some Chinese food. Try to make myself. There we go. Or I'm going to have some Beyond Sausage subs. We'll see what happens. Still Lent. Um, again, I'm here to bring some levity. In order to bring levity, I have a couple of people I do need to thank out there. I Let's see here. Icon of Sin twenty four one twenty eight. Thank you, sir. Um. Oh, what did you say? It was something fairly obvious. I forget. That's okay, sir. You always win your matches twice because you always win with the six count. Let me 
use this one though. Wait, wait. And Tim, Tim, you are on the very quick road of becoming a character in the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. So thank you for putting your your face up there on YouTube so I can see what it looks like, so I know how to make you at least. Instead of just guessing. You, sir, are that luchador on the forklift. So with all that being said and done now, again, I'd like to thank everyone. If you would like your own little shout out, um, you can just kind of say something on YouTube. Let's see here. Lucian or on forklift. Six count. Or you can chat with me in Discord. Um, or subscribe. Or even live chat. Remember, if I do go live, you cannot watch WrestleMania. Because that's a no-no. You might be able to hear parts of WrestleMania. That's a whole different thing. Because I'll be giving you some commentary. Actually kind of do WrestleMania and most wrestling events. With the exception of, I think, AAA and Impact. They're real weird. <laughs> which is good impact I can get away with a lot New Japan I can't AEW I can't WWE oh no Triple A doesn't care so let's talk about Raw it starts off with the AJ Styles recap about him uh, taking on the Undertaker then we have the Undertaker promo Alan Jones the power is Darkness are coming for you. You will rest in peace. So says Michelle McCool. Yep. So that's kind of what that was about. <laughs> he called. I'll tell you what. These wrestlers are getting creative with their curses. He called Gallows and Henderson ass clowns. Wow. Then uh, Becky Lynch shows up in her in her own 16-wheeler. And there's a Becky Lynch promo. So let's see what happened for me to be called Becky Two Belts. Roll the footage. And, of course, I don't have any footage. But it shows the triple threat match. <laughs> the threesome. <laughs> Terrible. With the triple threat match between Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and Ronda Rousey. Uh, this was last WrestleMania, WrestleMania in 2019. It was a, I, I didn't realize that that, a, that, ma that match did not age that well. It looks a lot blacker than I remember it being. I mean, Ronda's really still very green in that. Like, and you could tell Becky, like, telling Charlotte, like, what's next. So I didn't realize it was that bad at the time. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm tired recently. 
I was, I was busy today. I got my online grocery shopping done today. So I go to four different grocery stores to get all the stuff I need to get me, I think, two at least Easter. Yeah, because the 15th next, next week is Holy Week. The 11th is Easter. The 15th, I go grocery shopping again. So I have enough until the 15th of April. So I'm good to go. I might need some more soda, though. I might have to get that three liter of soda at Dollar Tree. Oh, so good. But um, to come back, uh, back to Becky doing her promo. Shana comes out, chokes up Becky, like sandbags her against the but edge of the table. Oh, dude, that hit her head. Like, that's like sharp edges and like head skin does not mix well. Like, that's just like blood waiting to happen. It'd be cool. But not not so good. Then we have Alistair Black versus Jason Cade. Mr. Cade, thank you for trying, sir. I applaud your effort. You got your drop kick in. And then after that, it was one kick from Alistair Black and the black mass that matches over. Jason Cade, thank you. Uh, it was a can of soup match. For some reason, I don't know, they're really giving Alistair Black squash mat. Oh, wow. I've only used that much disk space. Wow. It's amazing what happens when I actually clean my computer up. Uh, so, yeah, that was, uh, thanks for showing up. Go collect your, your 50 bucks. You, sir, are now out of here. Uh, then there's a Seth Rollins recap. And then there's a Street Profits taking on Kevin Owens versus... I'm sorry, yeah, Street Profits and Kevin Owens taking on Seth Rollins, Angel Garza, and Austin Theory. W w wait a second. I remember Austin Theory. Like, I remember when he did his promo class here in Daytona Beach. I don't think I have that on file anymore. But it was like promo 101. He, he, he got to give a promo. That was like one segment, and I think like probably an eighth of the arena left, and then the other, the other quarter left at the break, and then another eighth left before the main event. Oh yeah, that's right. That was the time they couldn't announce the winner because the winner walked out of the arena. <laughs> so embarrassing. I felt so bad. Um, so this was a unique match. It starts off. It was going to be Seth Rollins. Okay, it was going to start off. It was too smart. Slaps poor Austin Theory on the chest. You're in, kid. And everyone gets dropped in Austin Theory. Austin Theory just gets beat up a while. Uh, we go back. Uh, Ford did some, like, flippy thing out of the ring. <laughs> and and then Angel Garza says, That's enough. Pants come off. And now he's serious. Uh then there was the jumping tag by Ford, two Dawkins. Uh, <laughs> smile now, bitch. Kevin Owens just shouted that randomly. Kevin Owens is the best talker ever. They're dropping that, that B word left and right though. Um, Angel Garza utilizes a camel clutch. Uh, Rollins eventually he gets both six elbows. This was actually a good match because it didn't feature Rollins wrestled Mania and didn't have Rollins being like, oh, shoot, that's going to happen. All, of, all the moves of Seth Rollins are going to come out in order at WrestleMania. And then Ford, for some reason, what happened, so, so we have the ring. We have Seth Rollins here, one side. We have Austin Theory on one side. In the ring, Ford goes off the rope. Seth over here tries to get the foot. Didn't happen. Because Ford kind of jumped that. Did a somersault thingy 
But then Austin Theory Lake was over here. So Ford. Seriously, yeah, Austin Theory was over here. He just said, whoop. Ford fell like flat on his back. And you heard he hit the steel. Or aluminum or whatever it's made of. But it wasn't flesh on flesh. It was scapula on steel. That looked nasty. Because... Oh yeah, and then Zelina Vega. Oh my god. Zelina Vega. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, Zelina... Wait. Oh. Uh, Zelina Vega, she wore some skin tone bodysuit. It's like... Whoa. It's like... Is she naked? No, she's not naked. Because she came out, I'm like, with the ring, she's only, like, she naked? Or, and I'm like, no. Oh, wow. I'll tell you what, it didn't leave much to the imagination. Yeah, you can see outlines of every. Um, yeah, so it's Lena Vang, and she like cringed. She's like, oh, shit. Uh, so Montez Ford is dead. Uh, Kevin Owens stun, stunners Angel Garza picks up the one, two, three. Then he's a victim of a of a dastardly stomp. And then Kevin Owens comes a pretty good promo. I'll I'll tell you what the other word. I don't know what's the word of the month. The word of the month is either dipshit or dumbass. Yeah, dipshit or dumbass or <laughs> ass clowns. It's pretty high up there. Uh, easy peasies. They're forever. Um, then we have an Edge and Randy Orton recap and an Edge promo in the bowels of the performance center. Because remember, there should not be 10 people by each other, even though Walmart has hundreds. Who knows? Um, although they do have like six foot markers. Which means you're not standing at least on top of people. I guess that's good. Um, so I think the 15th, ma 15th match, we need 16 matches. You never know. Match 15 is going to be the Kabuki Warriors taking on Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss. We'll see what happens with that. So they're promising a lot. I have a feeling they're not going to be delivered on most of it. Because they're still pushing... The Goldberg Roman Reigns match, even though Roman's right, they're gonna have to find a way like this Friday to write them off. Did I really scratch that that hard? Well, I guess I did. Oh, I hate this thing. Uh, so then we have Asuka versus Kaylin Carter. Oh, wait a second. Oh, where's my cell phone? Let's see. Let me go get my cell phone. I'll be right back. See you, right? You guys have to see that. I think I still have it here. Kaylin Carter, and I don't even know if you can hear me, so I'm shouting from halfway across the hobo office. Oh, wait, you might have been able to. So, Kay Kaylin Carter is actually there on the Wall uh, of the door of wrestling. In fact, let's see here. Oh, I forgot about that. That's that's my stuff. Oh, wow, I have to delete. I have to delete more stuff. Let's see here. Dum diddy dum diddy dum. It's here somewhere. Should be here somewhere. Oh, that's me and my haircut inside Super Target. That was the snake. The pizza. The boat. Awesome Kong. I have to find a way to get that lined up here. So where is she now? That was her. That was fake Ozzy. Danny Birch. Santana Garrett. Him. Oh, here she... Oh, no. No. Not yet. 
There she is! There she is, Miss America. Look how way too happy I am. Yep, Kaylin Carter right there. I don't see her. Yep, there's me right there. I look way too happy to... I look way too happy. Yep, I got a selfie with her. I was kind of stoked. So, yeah, so, yep, that's pretty cool. So, whenever I can show pictures like that, because I can say, hey, you know what? This person is now on TV. Yeah, look at that. I got a selfie with her. Probably the most amazing part is that she actually let me take a selfie of her. I wonder, I do wonder what's going to happen nowadays. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe it'll just be selfie. Maybe they'll just be like, okay, we're just signing stuff. I don't know, selfies, you don't need that much contact. If you're going to be that close contact, you might as well get your selfie anyway. Uh, so it's Asuka versus Kaylin Carter. Again, just to hype up Kaylin Carter some more. Because it's always fun. Let's see. Oh, can't go that way? No. Darn, I didn't want that. No. Oh. I just learned something on my phone. So again, we had Asuka, the Empress of Tomorrow, taking on Kaylin Carter. I thought it went by a different name. Maybe she changed her name. Because I used to think it was Lacey Lane. But oh well. I was kind of confused there for a moment. Oh, they change their names so often. And then XT is not even funny. No, so again, Asuka taking on. Lacey Lane right there. Uh, this was pretty good. Uh, Kayla Carter got a drop kick that, that hit. I'm like, whoa, is this going to be the offense? I don't know. Because then Asuka hit a hit attack. And Asuka's yelling stuff in Japanese. Who are you? Do, 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 do. Who are you? Do, 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 do. Uh, Kayla Carr, then she did a springboard drop kick, and then I'll tell you what, Asuka had hit like some trap leg Germans, like a leg trap German suplex, right into the Asuka lock. That match was over. Might, might as well have been a squash match. Um, Asuka then started to talk. She was on commentary. Easy peasy! Oh, best. I don't, that might be so much fun to say. Easy peasy! You can do that. Oh, Asuka. Oh, Asuka. Again, you can chant anything to the Seven Nation Army. Oh, ho, Botom. Oh, ho, Botom. Dun, 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 dun. Like, as Asuka was talking in Japanese, Byron Saxons look confused and terrified at the same time. As well he should be, especially after his thing with Stone Cold Steve Austin getting kicked in the nuts. I feel bad for you. I'm sorry, Brian. Then when there's a recap of Rhea Ripley coming into the Performance Center. She gets jumped by Charlotte Flair probably right before the match. As we all know, this year's WrestleMania is taped. That's no big spoiler. Spoiler alert! WrestleMania is taped. Oh, wait, I, I should have told you to like tune out for 10 seconds. Oh, wow. Uh, then there's a Rey Mysterio versus Brock, Brock Lesnar replay. That was, I'm, I'm, I'm actually a one as long as it did. Oh, wait a second. The Asuka versus Kayla Carter match. That was a can of soup. And then if I didn't say before, because I probably didn't. And that six-man tag match. That was a ham sandwich. So that's okay. I'll just insert that little picture in there. Uh, we were in play. She got jumped by Charlotte, probably on their way to the match. Then we had a Rey Mysterio and Brock Lesnar replay from Survivor Series or SummerSlam. Yeah, whatever. whatever I, think, I think it was. Might have been Survivor Series. 
I honestly forget. Seems like so long. <laughs> and then in, in the ring, Paul Heyman, there's a Paul Heyman, Paul Heyman with Brock Lesnar in promo. Heyman, I swear, he had to catch himself a few times. He's like, this is the most unique WrestleMania ever. Not because of the times we live in due to everything, but it's the only WrestleMania that's going to be over two nights. And I hope it's not like that going on. But you could almost see Paul Heyman said, this is unique times because of coronavirus. I'm pretty sure in his directions, he was told not to say anything about coronavirus. But again, you know that was kind of implied. Uh, again, those people, those dumbasses in the gym think that they may be able, but if not, they'll just be Brock's bitch. Again, dropping the B word so much. Indeed. And that was the go home to Raw. Or go home to WrestleMania. I think the only question mark I have, what's going to be the 16th match? Who is Goldberg actually going to face? Well, I have three questions. What's actually going to be the 16th match? Who is Goldberg really going to face? And will ProWrestlingTees.com have their WrestleMania sale? These are questions we want answers to. Other than that, um, it wasn't that good of a show. Tell you what, the, the one match seemed botchier than I remembered being. The Brock Lesnar match seemed longer than I remembered being. And that was it. So, again, for the rest of the week, Tuesday, going to be doing Impact Wrestling. Wednesdays, AEW. Thursdays, we're going to have a special guest. Dr. Tom's going to be here to give us his WrestleMania predictions. I don't know how he's, I mean, he has to figure out the math behind that. Friday, it's going to be SmackDown. Saturday, it's going to be day one WrestleMania. Sunday's day two WrestleMania. Wow, that's a lot of wrestling. Wrestle, wrestle. And thanks everyone for watching. Again, I hope I, I bring some levity. And I'd like to thank everyone out there because you, you guys out there in YouTube land give me something to do and to look forward to every night. So thank you guys. Bye.